Krishan Rock. Krishan Rock was supposedly uh, arrested and taken into cuffs after she showed up to a Blueface hearing. Blueface supposedly is is about to be released. I'm not sure if she was released today, but apparently she he's supposed she's supposed to be released, um, or he's supposed to be released shortly. There was a hearing that he showed up to court, and of course, um, she's like a confusing soul, you know. After covering up a bunch of his tattoos and they have beefed, and you know, I think one of the reasons she tatted his face, like if you don't know why Blueface is in jail, apparently Blueface had a he had a case in Cali, a case in in Nevada, and it was understood based on one of the pleas that he could not go back to Nevada, he could not go back to Vegas, right? And also, he was on probation for elsewhere where he can get in trouble. Apparently, this girl, Krishan Rock, and everybody knows nobody gets you to do some illegal shit more than a girl because they don't give a fuck about ramification, and they know how to get at you. Oh, I know you ain't a bitch. Oh, you pussy. Like, when a girl says that, you almost want to, like, prove that you're not, not knowing that women, like, women usually don't face jail. Like, they're setting you up. So, essentially, uh, at least according to WAC, she says to Blueface, yo, let's go to Vegas. Blueface say, yo, I can't go to Vegas. Um, let's not go to Vegas. Wax said, yo, based on the deal the lawyer got, I can't go back there for so-and-so amount of time. Basically, the um, basically, Krishan Rock looks at Blueface and said, damn, you like a bitch. Whatever Wax 100 tell you to do, you do what Wax 100 tell you to do. Like, they go to Vegas, they get into an altercation, and that sent Blueface to jail. And um, she showed up to court, and uh, and um, she got arrested. And uh, apparently she had a warrant out in Oklahoma where she supposedly beat up some people over there. And she was ducking that warrant, or I think it was a bench warrant because she missed some court dates. And she showed up, so I guess that they put out a warrant for her, which California accepted. Y'all don't mind taking them, taking them. But that's what everybody looked at you at on the internet. That's why you're here for all this. That's why you're here for all this. We know that. We know that. We know this. Get out of my cheek. <laughs> That's crazy. I guess he's a crip too. It's it's so sad because yo, you know, this is supposed to be a family moment. And this is why I always also say, like, yo, content and fame could ruin like real family ties and, and, and people's lives. Yo, even in like this moment should not be on camera. Like, this ain't even Zeus where they're monetizing it. Like who the fuck is filming this moment of them arguing about who's going to take care of the child? Yeah, when it, when it go against somebody's will. You feel me? Shit. Like, fuck you. Shit. You got these stinky ass. Stinky ass. Stinky ass. Yeah, I do. For your ugly ass. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway. What happened, Christine? Now, let me pause it and say this. So with Krishan Rock, you know, the roosters are coming home to roost. Um, is that the same? Krishan Rock been slapping everybody. She thinks that, you know, putting hands on people. And by the way, you know, uh, I, I don't wish no ill will on, on Krishan Rock, but I've seen her influence on young women. And maybe it's young women I've seen, or maybe young women I've been around. This hyper aggressive, I love to fight, I beat bitches up, oh, I put hands on people with no ramifications. I'm glad we're starting to see some ramifications of it. When you beat people up consistently, yeah, the majority of people are law abiding citizens who will go to the police, press charges. If you think you're going to just continue your life of being a celebrity without having to deal with those charges, warrants get put out. And then when you think you're living your life at the most random moment, they'll put you in cuffs. 
I mean, I I personally don't think if Mar if Krishan wouldn't have left the order for Marsh, I didn't know that at the time. If Krishan wouldn't have left the order for Marsh to get the baby, I do not believe that Jonathan would have left the baby there. But he did show his ass like he didn't feel like babysitting. And at that point, when the mama and the daddy is in jail, that's not babysitting. That's called grandparenting. So I didn't like his verbiage, so I lost my temper. Because if a motherfucker playing daddy with one of my grandkids and then all of a sudden you really ain't daddy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow up. And I, that's what I did. I blew up. Marsh is definitely a prize because she has definitely done had her ass whooped by the, by the sister, the baby daddy. Marsh done been handling her business in regards to her best friend. So she definitely taken the best friend award of the year. I hold all my friends and family to different, uh, what you call it, to different uh, levels and meanings right now based on how Marsh move, okay? Now, either she got a, she either she a robot or she a real friend. We gonna find out. Why didn't I take the baby? Because as you know, me and Krishan are not on the best terms. And I didn't want to overstep my boundaries because if somebody that don't fuck with me touch my baby without my permission, it might be a problem. So I was respecting Krishan. But if she she would have just had to whoop my ass and had a whole nother day of whatever we gonna do. She would have just her and my security would have had to figure it out if they would have left that baby and talking about they not bringing the baby. Now if Marsh didn't pull up, and or or if somebody pulled up that I didn't really trust to take the baby, I just would have had to take my next step. But I was prepared to take my next step. I had already called my husband and told him I might end up in jail today, so get the bail money ready because these motherfuckers is moving weird. They moving weird about my grandbaby. And he did not look slow in person at all, so somebody is doing something with the pictures too. And... And, and I told my husband, I said, they moving weird. They moving weird. And if I end up having to take this baby and somebody end up putting their hands on me or doing something weird, it's going to get, it's going to go down up in this motherfucker today. And he said, please don't go to jail. And I didn't go to jail. I made it home safe. I do still have a headache. Shout out to the six odd team for getting that, um, edited version. Because you know they was going to try to edit it how they wanted to edit it. And y'all will hear the whole full conversation where I laid the law down. Because my team was videoing, even well, though we wasn't supposed to. And some of that was had to be video from phones and different things. Because you know the courts be acting weird. So don't be on my video team about hear, being able to hear stuff or... I don't know, you know, how it's going to turn out. I'm just ready to watch it just like y'all because I just was in the moment. And, yes, there's three million people on here. We see it, baby. This is the first time I'm on your side. I don't need you to be on my side. Just be on my, on my grandkids' side because I do. I love my kids, but I love my grandkids more than my kids because my kids is grown and they smell and they funk and they, they mixing up a dollar and a penny and the worth of it. You know what I'm saying? They're getting a little lost. And now I do believe they're going to find their way back to where they started from because I baptized them with that belief and that trust in the Lord. But, honey, right now, like I told his daddy, he he told my son, I'm up here to see about my son. Your son, a, your son, a grown-ass motherfucking man, and you ain't putting that dollar on that lawyer. You ain't putting that dollar on that lawyer. So although I appreciate you being up here to support your son in front of this judge, I do. I'm grateful that there's a daddy in the room, even though you didn't look like you was the daddy in the room, okay? <laughs> I was grateful that he was up there to see about my child. But you, once the child is in jail and the mama's in jail, that means you the daddy now, you the grandpappy, you not the babysitter. That means step your motherfucking game up. And I don't know if the baby's going to cry, if he don't know people. You know how some kids are. They would, you know, if they don't know people, they might panic. So I'm trying to keep the baby kosher because I know the baby just saw the police, even though he's nine months, going on, going on a year now. I know he saw the police take his mom away from him. You feel me? Like, 
that was a that was a lot for a baby. So you don't want to move the the person that needs to be with the baby wasn't Marsh was the granddad because he lives with the baby. So the baby will be used to him being there and used to him. The baby would just think the mom went to work for a couple days. You know what I'm saying? That was my thought process. Just keep everything regular so the baby don't start panicking. Because I don't care what y'all say. Kids feel shit. Them babies feel shit. And I was just trying to, you know, keep it to, like, if he go with me and my husband, he going to be looking around like, I don't know these people. The last time I held him was November. He was six, a six, six, not even a six-month-old baby yet. And kids feel stuff. I didn't get to see if the baby was crawling, ma'am. He was in his stroller just kicking his feet, having a good day. Like, his grandpa was standing right in front of him, so he felt... He was kicking his feet and having a good day. I know he wasn't getting out yesterday, but I thought we was going to get, you know, okay, this how much longer. I didn't know we was going to, that was all going to happen. I had no idea. So I, I went with, with, with a different spirit and a different heart, and I came home with a whole fucking headache. And I only get these headaches when these kids get to acting brand new. And I did. I felt some type of way for Krishan yesterday because... Regardless, she's still my grandchild mother. I do not agree with her attacking nobody unprovoked. I don't agree with nobody attacking nobody. I don't. I don't threw water in people's face and did weird shit. When you get mad, I don't agree with it. But shit happens sometimes. And and yes, you gotta you gotta pay for it. You know, she's gonna probably come out of this and 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 both of them hopefully and mature out of the things hopefully because that jail shit scared me straight okay i might splash some water on you but i ain't fixing to punch you and back in the day i would just haul off and punch you that come from trauma and and build up and hurt and anger and pain and hopefully this will help get that together because she gonna have to take them classes i took you know them dumbass classes but them dumbass classes work y'all them anger classes, they 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 dumb in the motherfucker because you got to keep going and paying for it every week. But they do work. Them exercises and them breathing techniques and count to ten and wait before you punch somebody. That shit do be working. <laughs> so she gonna come out of this. They both gonna come out of this moving and thinking differently. That's why I have security now. I just pay the security to come so I don't have to, you know, be going back and forth and getting in jail. If I get too loud with, you know, when I was getting too loud with Jonathan Daddy, I could see that it was making my security uncomfortable. So I didn't need somebody to tell me, you know, my husband would have told me to sit down and shut the fuck up and all of that type stuff. But I could see that the security was getting uncomfortable with my movement. And I didn't want her to, like, not come with me or, you know, not not do her job for me so i i've seen how it was making her uncomfortable so i would go sit down so security is always a better option so that they can you know either drag you off from doing something stupid marsh looked mad getting the baby she looked like she probably was she probably is like why is both the grandparents here and i gotta get up and run up here and the man live at the house. So her energy probably was like, why couldn't he just bring the baby home and I get the baby later? You know what I'm saying? She probably was feeling, feeling away.